I'm gonna be very original today and do something that I've never done before, which is we're gonna play a no focus game. The final one in this series. We've done it as Germany, we've done it as France. The only other one that's interesting is the Soviet Union because uh, Germany, I mean, that's just, it's just the protagonist of World War II. France has the <laughs> Thing. You're never gonna lose disjointed governments. That's kind of interesting. The US, sure, you have the big sad, but all this does is just you're weaker than you would be. And if Japan ever invades Atu Island, you could just do your Homeland Defense Emergency Act and lose all of this anyway. So the only one, I guess China, the only one that really suffers from a no, I guess Spain, the only one that really suffers from a no focus game is the Soviet Union because somebody is a little bit paranoid. That's gonna make things a little bit interesting, I suppose. Potentially, I think, maybe, I don't know, we are gonna build Sith factories. In terms of market, I do want to sell a bunch of crap that we don't no longer need. I now feel a little bit of licorice in this trying time. So let's just make this simple. We're gonna go over to Turkey and Romania. As always, I am... So, do I? Do I always play historical here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna play historical, so I'm gonna. I'm not gonna declare war on Germany and, or Poland uh, to just make this a super busted Soviet Union. I'm gonna make myself a little treat and declare war on Turkey, probably. Thanks to not having focuses, we are gonna have a lot of PP. Actually, we do have the Trotsky plot, so we don't even have that much PP. <laughs> But uh, let's just do something like this. We do have a very good economy after all, uh, with lots of stability. Can give them progress on skilled stuff, uh, although we will probably shoot every single one of these guys. What are you looking at me for? That's not foreshadowing. This is gonna be the relatively interesting part of this playthrough, I suppose. The fact that we're just gonna shoot everybody that we know and love, except for this guy. Justification on Turkey, the rest we are just gonna play historical. Somebody is getting some funny ideas. I guess I'm gonna get Timoshenko before he gets shot. Only 5% consumer goods factories factor now. It used to be consumer goods, 5%. So. <laughs> That is nothing. Just press that button whenever you can. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> Looking at this, this is not gonna work. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, sure, we are gonna embargo Italy. Why? Oh, right, uh, Ethiopia. Respect other countries. Who would ever invade someone? Ooh, ah. Uh, I was about to say we have special designers, but I'm not gonna get these designers. <laughs> the League of Nations has ended. It took a long time. Breaking news! Nintendo has released a new new Super Mario Bros. game. And in response, the League of Nations has suspended. We're just gonna micro a little bit here. Not that it really matters. Alright, oh, we also have planes. Uh, blah. Check them on Romania, I guess. And as always, Officer Corps, bold attack. Let's do some war propaganda. We might be able to get war econ later on. I also don't know why I still have shadow Soviet divisions. It's just one of those things in Hearts of Iron. Oh god, we we're only, only gonna have three research slots. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to soak the Germans a lot if we ever get there. <laughs> because right now I don't know if we will. There we go, we've cut these guys off. No, we even got this encirclement. I will admit, even though we don't have a focus, we do have pathetic PvP gain. We're gonna have to keep on crippling our air force because Stalin thinks anybody wants to kill him and I can guarantee you right now, there's nobody killing anybody because nobody is doing anything in our country. Stalin is just sitting in his office thinking. I do think we should start thinking about what we should do about Stalin, honestly. He's just a funny little guy right now. There we go. Let's get Novikov. Are you serious? It's 1937. I can't shoot Yagoda. He's not gonna have PP for a while. Romania, but we can just... I'm just gonna puppet them. They need to be fully independent, but it's the AI, so they might still just do this and stab me in the back. We could do a naval invasion here, honestly. 
But also, do I care? I don't care. Let's just do an auto push here. It's red, it's costly. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just gonna RP a Stalin right now. Okay, we can shoot an Admiral. That's very good because I would rather keep uh, generals. Romania wants to give us one IRA. Thank you. There we go. We've broken through the entrenchment and now everything is just falling apart. Since we are playing very historical right now, I could make this a lot more fun. And we could shoot Chiang Kai-shek, which pretty much just means that China joins the Allies. And I will probably be at war with the Allies. Every time I do this, I regret it. Every single time. This is one of my least favorite designers. I guess we could spec these into medium cas and then small fighters. You know what, I'm just gonna try it. And of course nobody's in Istanbul. And we can shoot Livnitov. Ah, yes. Um, policy of collective security. I can tell you why I don't know he exists. I've not once done any of these focuses, I think. Puppet, Soviet, Turkey, Turkey, Soviet, Turkey. That is pretty much everything we're gonna do for a long while now. No, I'm never gonna be able to dismiss the NKVD divisions. What's the template for them? Ah, oh, why do they have MPs? Tank refurbishment plant with trains and support equipment. Railway artillery, what? Yo, that's fire. <laughs> trains get 5% speed as the Soviets? 5% soft attack on our trains? <laughs> I know, they just did okay. We have armor, we have weapons, we have trains. Let's just apply all of this on them. But uh, it's hilarious. Like, just the idea that Soviet trains can ram better than any other train. I really like special things like that, you know? Kind of wish you could design your MIOs, your own MIOs. Because this is just kind of pointless. Why naval attack and ground attack on fighters? I just... Paradox. I'm just gonna put everything that we have in the market. If somebody wants it, they can have it. I left it all in that one place. I guess that's unexpected. You know, on this channel, we are all about historical gameplay. All oh, right, we are embargoing instantly. Let's just revoke the embargo. Uh, okay, China didn't join the allies this time. And we can't even invite Mao. War icon. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I mixed up no focus and no research earlier. <sighs> I've done too many challenges on this channel. Because I was like, yeah, okay, the research bonuses don't give us anything. Of course, of course they do. France just joined the other. So, uh, Italy, you are not looking too fresh. I'm just gonna improve relations a little bit here. Market access, thank you very much. Do, do I have some setting on? Ah, okay, auto accept, negotiate, market access. Surely you want to buy some Soviet quality equipment. And then let's also do the same thing with the Germans. And then yeah, let's get Wojciechowski. China, you do need guns, I know that. Opinion does a lot here. So it should be super easy to get everyone into your sphere. <laughs> Wrong game. I'm also gonna sell to the Japanese and the Americans. And you know what? Let's get the UK and France in here as well. Let's offer mill access. Everything that increases my opinion of the people. Shoot a few more people. Oh, the US wants to buy stuff. Yes, crappy planes. And the UK also wants crappy planes. All right then. If you want to get rich, probably sell your planes. Just gonna put everything on. Oh, let's sell this stuff for less. Let's go medium everywhere. With this, I could even see it. <clears throat> well, I'm having my voice crack, my balls dropped. With this, I could even see a full Sith factory run be relatively interesting. Poland is not allowed to have market access. Okay. They still have embargoed economy. It doesn't say it, but I assume that's why they can't do it. Oh, look at that. But they're good guys. We're selling to everybody equally. Sure, we're gonna shoot these guys. I do want to keep Shukov. Look at the economy! I would still have more factories if I had a focus tree and I would also have more research slots. But that's not what this challenge is about. <laughs> this challenge is about pain. Oh, <laughs> we're selling 12 things right now. Let's go Shashlik. All right, we're gonna shoot more people. If by the end of the game I can still see gray here, then we've done something wrong. We still have planes that we can sell. <gasps> Let's buy on the Germans a little bit. Because they want to give me a part of Poland and I don't necessarily trust them, but um, I guess I do now. <laughs> At least I'm still war profiteering here. <laughs>
He still can't shoot your goat, huh? The Germans broke through the Magino! What have I been selling to you? I guess my tactical bombers are better than I expected them to be. Those I do want to put on the tank refurbishment plant just for the all of the construction buffs. Lame tanks on these divisions. And let's go. We do need to get an entire army going now. Because some idiots sold all of our guns. I think the AI is learning from my tactics. Japan, take France. Are you going for the stupidest Japan? No, you're not. You have already done your political focus, so you are not gonna go with communist Japan. So it can't be that. France fell before Poland did. Sweden joined the allies. They might be able to take out Quisling then? Or they just completely overrun Sweden and Norway? Okay. America, I kind of fucked up here. Please do something. You know what? I'm gonna ignore tanks for now, which is kind of weird to say because we are the Soviet Union. We should be able to have tanks at the start of the war, but also if I focus on tanks now, like we just don't have research, man. That is crippling our economy more than you could think. Medium cats are not worth it. One thing that's definitely nice about those is they have an insane amount of range and we can do logistics strike with those. So I'm gonna use them reluctantly. No rubber from the Rashi Cindy's anymore. So, Japan! We are now best friends. I'm also preemptively gonna do upgrade bottleneck here. And then let's get radar stations going, air bases, a bit of AA. And let's go down to limited exports. Now we just need to fund the entire Japanese economy. Although we can't even do that because we don't have convoys. Mario! The Germans are coming. Oh, cool, we have 200 fighters. They are gonna win us the war. Let's go away from the front line. Hey, but we're still selling to the Germans. I knew it. I knew it! The last time. Actually, it wasn't the last time. At some time, I knew that Finland did a continuation war even though the Soviet AI never declared war on them. What are you continuing the war for? I never took anything from you. That's a Leningrad. I mean, this is the exact bullshit that I just like about how Paradox tries to railroad the Second World War with focuses. Finland would have no reason to attack the Soviets if the Soviets have never shown aggression towards them. I even invited them to my market access thing. Tell not taking Leningrad! I can't believe it! Romania, Turkey, thank god I declared war on you. I assumed the Finns would get a white peace option, but apparently that's only a thing if they lost to the Soviets previously and then beat them. They never lost to me, so they can only offer white peace after losing. Anyway, we can't peace out the Finns. In that case, we need to resort to our own Motti tactics, which is get all of our puppets over here and fight the Finns back. And we need... Seriously, the fact that we don't have research is so painful. This was all planned because now we can just very easily encircle the Finnish divisions here because Finland does not have that many troops. 403, the German protectorate of Denmark. What have you done? Look at the strength here. <laughs> we shot every admiral that we have. Are you... S you can't send me rubber through here. That's so fucking great. This is looking like the easiest winter continuation war that we can get. There we go. They are all encircled, which means we can do an attack like this here. I'm just gonna auto all of these drones here. I still don't want to shoot Yagoda. Ooh, uh, Golikov, I think you're gonna get shot next because you are an infantry specialist. You have a target on your back now. The multi tactics, but it doesn't matter if there is not a single Finnish person left alive. You might do some bullshit, but it doesn't matter to me because I have manpower and guns for my men to try that someday. Wait, you still don't have Oppenheimer. Oh, we lose political paranoia here. Just because you were a thorn in my side, I will take all of Finland. <laughs> they want an armistice again, okay. Oh, that's actually... Ooh, 100 political power. What am I gonna do with that? And now I'm gonna puppet you. Just because of what you've done. Of course, we have to keep up the front line here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let them starve up there. I can't be asked to manage the supply there. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck yo! Why did I take Finland? I just love that the AI just runs at the first sign of an enemy division. Oh no, they're starting to grind in Finland. Panic! 
And I'm also starting to shoot some generals, so we are on a little bit of a timer, honestly, before we run out of generals. It's so disgusting. I have, don't have a single truck or mechanized tech. We don't have 1942 gun techs. We're still missing logistics, 1942. I haven't done anything for tanks apart from 1940 tech. We're almost done with our artillery tech. I don't have better... Landing craft tech, planes, I only got 1940 tech, engineering, I completely abandoned as well, and production, I guess we have a little bit here. Um, um, uh, I was wondering why the game started for a second here. They are doing the stupidest Japan possible. They took out France and now they are communist and in the axis. We need more front lines. We lost our rubber import, but thank God I fought ahead and produced a little bit of rubber. Why is Norway here with the fuck boy? Can you please stop blaming Yagoda? Well, we are dealing with the Germans. Uh, it's just somebody is still getting... I mean, you have all the reason to be crazy right now. The Finns babbled something about a continuation war and then declared war on us. We have Chinese Japan. Okay, we're gonna shoot everybody except for our reformer, which... Yeah, we still have a ground support expert. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Ooh, would you look at that? There are not many planes here at all. In that case, let's do some air superiority. These are not very good planes because they are small fighters. And we also don't have any upgrades for them. Oh, you're not fighting. That could also be a reason. There we go. That's better. Upside for them is definitely that they are very cheap. Oh, Timoshenko, you've served me well. I kind of want to know how Japan got defeated. If the Allies invaded here or nothing went to the Allies here. They should have at least contested a little bit of Japan. I guess I sold too many guns to communist China. Okay, we are taking out the German. The German Fliegsmaschine. <laughs> Fliegsmaschine. <laughs> Oh, I'm the funniest person I know. German Fliegsmarine. <laughs> Fliegsmarine. Yagoda, can you be a little bit more loyal, please? Look at our tactical bombers. I mean, Cass. Tactical Cass. Uh, I mean... At least you're at war with the Axis now, but I also don't really want that. That could make the borders super fun for me. And uh, you can cut out the super and the fun part. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, look at the range of that. That's a very expensive cast, but the range is undeniable here. Yagoda, I can't afford this, man. Yep, yep. And you were even encircled. Cool. How did you... Mm, I don't care. Reproachment with the Soviet Union. I'm fine with that, I guess. I think we both have other things to worry about right now. For example, the French scuttling their fleet. Yeah, I can't save these guys anymore. They are dead, and not just to me, in general. Oh, sure. You lost so many units, you deserve to be shot. Why are the Germans in Palestine? Let's, let's, no, no, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about this. Okay, we can shoot someone else again. Um, bit of a shame about all of our infantry specialists that we lose. Yes, Denmark can join the common turn. Why did I invite Denmark? I just opened another front. I just saw 50 pp. My monkey brain went, ooh, 50 pp. Oh, nom 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 nom. Yo, allies, you want to start doing something? I killed 9 million Germans. Thank you. Just gonna ask kindly. I still don't want to shoot Yagoda. It's not a good idea. Ugh. Yakolev Design Bureau. I mean, it's just for naval bombers. I don't really care that much about it. So we are gonna dissolve it. We are gonna shoot a design bureau. Okay. I guess it's a bit more complicated to shoot a design bureau. So either... Because we don't have the decision to reinstate the design bureau. Ah, okay, we do have the decision. I fucking... I assume previously you did dissolve the design bureau, but they didn't 
fix that decision with the changes to MIOs. Yeah, and we can still assign and use this. That's another bug for the bug pile. Typos, what a typo, Frog. One of these days I'm gonna create a document with every single bug in Hearts of Iron Man. And then I'm gonna send it to Paradox and then I'm gonna ask for them to acknowledge me. I mean, I'm such a big YouTuber. I'm such a big content creator. And they, 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 I didn't even get to do AAT. <laughs> I have like five viewers. Five people that comment most videos. Do appreciate that, seriously. <laughs> it's nice when you're doing something and, or well, producing this content and people comment it because then you know, okay, people care about this, especially when they do it every video. It does help when you're just sometimes thinking, is this really all worth it, all the effort that I'm putting in here? And then, you know, people. I can't really describe it. Maybe I will in the final episode of the year because this has been a year. <laughs> Army of Thrones! Oh my god, okay. Pliev, I have to keep you in mind. You do not... No, no, I don't want to shoot you. If you shoot him, then uh, the game is over. I'm just gonna quit out. Oh, Tukashevsky. That's 30 paranoia. Brother, you were a real one. You held against the Germans magnificently. You are such a good general. It's 1945! I'm still researching 1943 tech. The CAS is working. Well, we still need 2,000 more tanks. Maybe we can use some tanks for Japan. Look at this CAS range. And they are doing pretty decent normal CAS damage at around 100. Look at the German front. <laughs> what is this? Would you mind pushing a little bit here. Ah, you're on a different front line now. What are you doing? I told you to get this one. What? Th that's this a That arrow is not connected to this time. And that doesn't even work. It's impossible terrain. You can't even uh, get assigned to this. There you go. Germany is outy bouty. Why? Why did you bomb the French? You could bomb something over here. I think the French have suffered enough. The French, after all. <laughs> Austrian rifles. God, those are old. We can now reinstate the Yarovlev Design Bureau, which I think is just gonna cost me PP and SIF factories because I already have it. How many times has Yagoda been accused of disloyalty by this point? Great purge of Navy junior officers, okay. Sure. Kirill Meritor, okay. Goodbye. Uh-oh, we are starting to run low on generals. We only have three left and I'm not gonna recruit any more than that. Oh, we are at 69%. Oh, it's a very cool number. I don't know why though. Finally have the tanks. All right then, let's drop them in China. Yes, perfect territory. The Gobi Desert. And that's the final general that we have. Wang Xingwei proclaims one China. Is that democratic China? Yeah, that's democratic. No, that's not even democratic. What? How did you lose Chiang Kai-shek? As expected, those tanks can do jack shit here. Although I think at this point I have proven that it's possible with the Soviets. Considering Germany looks like this. Japan looks like this. And uh, communist China... Wait! <laughs> I just made that buff worse! 40% naval doctrine cost. Illusion design bro. Okay, we can see what happens now. If Merlin wasn't sleeping on my lap right now, I would leave the PC. So here's my tip. If you're playing the Soviet Union after act against arms against tyranny. A against tyranny. Fire all of your design bureaus. It does not fucking matter. One of these days I will kill Chiang Kai- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's why China has a different leader. I killed Chiang Kai-shek, right. One of these days I'm gonna kill him without having any consequences. Plus 1000 social credit points card for killing Chiang Kai-shek. Although I'm not sure if you get it because the Communist Party of China has always reigned over China or something like that. I don't know what the official China law is for the CCP. Most points, uh, honestly can't be asked. After the fourth Japan, I also want my piece of Japan. 77 states. No! The no focus game! We lost it! No! A no focus game with the Soviets is impossible. You are never allowed to go to war with a major. I guess I wasted the last three and a half hours and I'm not allowed to upload this or else I will have to clickbait and totally lie to my viewers because again, we 
technically did finish a focus. Take a look at what we've accomplished. Nothing except for a little bit of anti-Soviet military thinking, a lot of ground-based training, a lot of portraits over here on my wall and just in time as well because this is the last general. We do not have a single one more. I didn't hire new generals. A perfect count because everybody has units. I, uh, I guess we still need to reshuffle here, but we still have enough. 60% politically connected will be the only trait available for new admirals. 100 madness. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess you only get 100. You only get a civil war if you are going alt historical. Uh, okay, and I can't... Okay, we have had great purchase, so I can't even do the alt history paths. So I kind of expect that we would always get a civil war. That's a bit of a bummer ending. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please comment. I love it when Rejo plays historical games of Hearts of Iron because, I mean, just look at this. This was entirely historical, especially this part. Wait. wait.